Hello, welcome to Special Pillars. I am Rhoda. Don't wait. Okay, hi. So today I'm going uh, grocery shopping. Excuse me, I'm going to adjust this camera. Looks a little bit strange. Let's make it straight. Is it straight right now? My tripod has issues. Anyway, yeah, so we are going to go to the market. Sorry. My husband and I, so from the market, we are going to go and pick up our kids from school. It's not really that far. They don't usually take um, school bus to come home on Thursdays um, because it's grasshopper. Uh, they have this little club. Okay, so students who are in the club don't go home. After school dismisses, so they stay like an extra one hour. So, and they usually dismiss at 1 p.m. So right now, the time is 9.51 a.m. I have to prepare and we have to leave before hopefully 11 a.m. so that I can shop and complete my shopping before we go to the school. When I click here, oh yeah, I was working on the list yesterday but then I went to I went to bed. So you can make your um list your groceries, the things you want to buy, and they would usually so you can select the type of notebook you want so if you select list it will open up this type for you with these small boxes beside each of the items that you listed and then so you can print it out and when you buy anything on the list you just take it off bless jesus oh my soul bless jesus oh my soul come on bless jesus oh my soul Bless Jesus, oh my, Ooh. bless Savior, oh my soul, oh. bless Jesus, oh my soul. Exactly what I'm looking for. As we go, I'll keep running till I can. Uh, so, I need Hello. Yeah, there's a lot of chicken there. Uh, this one? Yeah. Oh, uh, No, sorry. Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, two. I love shopping at the wet or open market because I get a variety of options. I can see the things I'm buying since they are not packaged. As a matter of fact, I trust my cleaning and cooking so nothing to be afraid of. Raw food should be properly cleaned and cooked before consumption. As for veggies and fruits which don't require cooking, I wash them with foot wash or soap whichever is available. This is mainly to remove um, food germs as a result of touching by people or improper packaging. I also do the baking soda thing every now and then, although I'm not sure if it works to remove pesticide residues as they claim, I feel like soap does a better job. Don't forget to rinse out the fruits with enough water if you do use soap to wash them. Uh, yes. Sam. 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 Yeah. We have two. Okay. Into bed. Okay. 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 
I don't know if you've noticed, but I think that fish markets are the same everywhere. The floors are always wet and the vendors are always shouting. Look at those people. <laughs> Wait, I didn't see, see your mouth. mouth. You have ice cream everywhere. <laughs> so as soon as we got home, my sister helped me to wash and pack the meat, the fish, the fruits and the vegetables. It's a rule of thumb in my house to clean up the sink area once meat and fish have been washed to death. So that's what you see my sister doing right now. After showering, I came out and prepared the marinade for oven grilled chicken. The kids wanted to join so I let them. It's a good time to bond with them and listen to their conversations. The ingredients for the marinade will be in the more section. After around 4 hours, it is time to make dinner so I will transfer the meat to an oven bowl and cover it with a foil and grill in the oven at 200 degrees celsius for the first 30 minutes. I will take out the foil after 30 minutes and let the chicken grill uncovered for the remaining time so as to get a nice simple crunch on top. I will also be saving the juice collected in the oven tray and we use that for making gravy. While the meat is grilling, I will prepare the side dishes which include steamed carrot and broccoli, creamy mashed potatoes and honey glazed carrot strips. While we prepare the veggies, let's read this week's memory verse. And it's taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verse 6. It says, The Lord's promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Now, I don't know if you're finding it hard to trust God these days, or you feel like the world is getting crazier and God seems to be silent. I would love to tell you that God is still who He says He is. His words are perfect, they are true, they have been tested and proven. He's not a man that he should lie. His character is consistent. He is not wishy-washy like us. So while you wait on him, do not murmur. Ask him to show you how to wait. His promises are pure. If you keep trusting and obeying, you will experience all the promises he made to you. So add salt to the boiling water and add the broccoli and then the carrots. Cover and let it steam for like one to two minutes. Sift out the boiling water from the vegetables and immediately dip them into ice cold water to stop the cooking process. Then, after a few seconds, sift the water out. 
that is how to keep the broccoli and carrots crunchy I will also prepare colorful sweet peppers to garnish the chicken and add extra flavor. Make honey glazed carrots, drizzle some cooking oil of your choice in the pan. I'm using olive oil. Put the carrots and let them sizzle. Sprinkle some salt and smoked paprika powder. Stir and let it saute for a few minutes. Then drizzle some honey over it. That's it basically. You may allow the honey to caramelize on the carrots for a more crunchy filling. Now for the mashed potatoes, I have already boiled them to perfection. I added a little salt while boiling them, sift out extra water leaving the potatoes in the pot to retain hotness. Add cheese and a little block of butter. Cover the pot. The quantity of the butter you know, depends on the amount you want to make but with butter I find that it's better to have a little than to have excess. Open the pot again and pour 3 tablespoons of cream over it. I made a simple gravy with the stock I got from the chicken grilling in the oven. Now go ahead and mash the potatoes with a potato masher. Look at how creamy that mashed potato is. The taste is also wonderful. You never break a promise. I don't know, I love cooking for my family, I don't know about you. Um, cooking is one of the ways I show love to people, you know, making food for them. You are a sure foundation. Lord, you've always come through. I will serve the food now. Yeah, don't leave anything behind in the pot. It's too good to be left. Okay, scrape every single thing. The mashed potato is wonderful, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please wait for the chicken to come out. You will absolutely love it. I am going to go serve my family right now. Hmm? Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like my video. Share with your family and friends. Comment in this uh, comment section. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for staying to this point. God bless you. Bye.